The last portion of this series, we're gonna talk about reps and sets and why. Oftentimes, you hear people say, do three sets, do four sets. Question I always ask is why? The reason why you're gonna do three sets or do four sets, the first set is supposed to break down 50 to 60% of that muscle group so that it can repair and recover according to the stress you apply. Now, the second set goes up to 60 to 70 and then from 70 to 80%. You don't wanna tear it down any more than that because if you do, that muscle becomes more and more vulnerable to real injury. You're micro tearing it uh, so it's the small tears and then it repairs. You don't want to get a tear. Uh, you don't want to overwork that muscle. So you want to do two to three sets depending on how deeply you want to tear that muscle group down. Now the other side of that is reps. Now if you're doing power lifting, you can do between four to eight reps. That's going to build more power. But if you want to concentrate on building that muscle, you want to make sure that you're using every muscle fiber and not just concentrating on manipulating the weight and getting the weight up. You want to concentrate on every muscle fiber firing so you get full development. You want to do between 8 to 12 repetitions to build that muscle. If you're doing less than that, really all you're concentrating on is getting that repetition done. I used to do powerlifting and when we would do bench press, I mean this was years ago, I stopped bench pressing altogether because I found out that my goal was different than what the bench press could supply me. So what we want to do, we want to lift according to our goals. So when I would do four reps on the bench press, the idea was the weight was so heavy, ugh, I just wanted to do everything to get that weight up. But when you're doing, when you're lifting to build that muscle, you want to feel every portion of that repetition. When the weight is coming down, I'm expanding my chest, I'm expanding it, ugh, right there, I'm concentrating on the pec delt tie-ins and I'm squeezing all the way through and I'm concentrating and I'm not worried if I'm able to get that weight up and try to manipulate the weight up, but I'm concentrating and squeezing. Oh, man, I felt that. Every repetition, that's the way you want to do it. Between eight to 12 reps, concentrating on the form. Now that's going to build muscle size. Now if you want to build definition in the muscle, you want to go up to 20 reps. I have actually gone up to 50 reps. I was doing squats, 315 for 50 reps. And man, I'll tell you, that is the most painful, deep, deep tearing of muscle tissue than you've ever seen. But what that does, it builds deep quality in the muscle that only time or those types of reps can cause that to take place in your physique. Uh, my legs were a larger muscle group, so I could, I could actually do that many reps, and if it meant I would lose an inch on my legs, what that also meant is it would balance my body out. My legs and glutes were very, very easy to grow, but my upper body was a little slower in growing. So I could do the intense, long uh, endurance work on my legs to help lean them out. It's the difference between a sprinter and a marathon runner. When you do lots and lots of reps, it's like that marathon runner. They have long, lean, defined muscles. But you look at that sprinter, he has these big, round, thick muscles because it's from his, uh, the energy system that he's using. If you uh, are performing an exercise with maximum intensity, for less than 12 seconds, you're using what we call the phosphagen system. When you go between 22 seconds to about 30 seconds, you're using a whole different system. It's the lactic acid system or the glycogen system. When you start going two and three minutes and further, you're using the aerobic system or um, the system that requires lots of oxygen. The other two systems, no oxygen. 
The aerobic system, oxygen. One will actually help you burn fat, the other is gonna concentrate on building more muscle. So, first define what is my goal? Am I shaping and defining? Or am I building big, uh, full muscles for the aesthetic look? Or am I just doing this for power? Define what direction you're going in and set that program around that and you'll get the results that you want. Listen, I know you love this one also. Because you love this video, we're gonna build this YouTube station and the way we're gonna do that is you're gonna subscribe, you're gonna get your friends to subscribe and we're gonna blow this thing up. God bless you until next time.